showing us how to make DIY bath bombs. They're inspired by those Valentine's Day conversation heart candies. And I mean, I created this by myself and I think I did a pretty good job on the first try. And some of them turned out really good and some of them turned out really bad. Like this one turned out really good and this one turned out really bad. Like it cracked in the middle. And I think that's because at the end, like it did not fizz at all. Like some of them did not fizz. And that's because in my opinion, I used cream of tartar instead of citric acid and I mean I could not find citric acid anywhere like in stores I checked Walmart I checked three different Walmarts they did not have it they were all out of stock and the ne next shipment was like at the end of February which was too late and there were like six of them were gonna come and yeah so I could not use citric acid so I used cream of tartar instead and I think cream of tartar did not do anything besides making it together so yeah and also, my birthday is coming up, so I am going to be doing a what I got for my 15th birthday because I'm going to be turning 15, and I have done these videos like in the past too, so it's like memory kind of thing. So yeah, now let's just get on to this video because I bet this intro is like 5 bajillion minutes long and I'm exaggerating, so let's get on to, so let's just get started with this video now. So for the materials, you'll be needing some baking soda and mold, which I got this one from AC Moore cream of tartar or citric acid, olive oil, cornstarch, and last but not least, food coloring of your choice. And I'll leave everything in the down bar so it's easier for you guys to read and the measurements. So first, I'm just going to be taking a cup of baking soda and later I'm putting it into a larger container. So then afterwards, we can mix everything all together with the other ingredients. So now I'm just going to be taking cream of tartar or citric acid and taking half a cup of this and I had to use like three of these containers to make a half a cup. And then just putting it into the larger container so then afterwards you can mix everything all together. And now I'm just going to be taking half a cup of Epsom salt and Epsom salt was kind of hard to find because I thought it was going to be in like in the cooking aisle like where the salt is. But no, it was like in the cosmetics aisle, like where the lotion is, which was kind of odd. So now I'm just going to be taking a half a cup of cornstarch and everything is a half a cup besides baking soda. So just letting you guys know. And then just putting it into the big container where we're going to mix everything in. And just mixing everything all together with a whisk. So now I'm just going to be taking two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use whatever oil you guys want, like coconut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, however many oils there are in the world. And now I'm just gonna be take now I'm just gonna be taking three fourths tablespoon of water. And looking at this is embarrassing because I did not put three tables three fourths tablespoon of water. And yeah, so you learn from your mistakes. So yeah. But just pour a little bit at a time because if you pour in a lot, it will create a reaction and at the end it won't like fizz like when you put it in the bathtub. So just pour in a little bit at a time. So then I just got six to seven different bowls and put the mixture in them so I can dye them different colors with food coloring. So now I'm just going to be taking my food coloring and dyeing the mixture different colors. So I took two to six drops of food coloring and then I mixed it with a spoon, but I do not recommend using a spoon. Use your hands to mix it because the spoon does not mix the food coloring well. So just put the mixture into a large container and mix it with your hands because it will give you a full opaque look and you'll like the end result. And I do not recommend this with people that have long nails because I had long nails and it was kind of gross. If you do have long nails, wear some gloves because when you wash your hands, the mixture does not come out of your nails. So another quick tip right there. So this is what the um, color looked like. It was fully opaque and this is what I wanted. You, yeah. no 
So I dyed five mixtures, five different colors. So I dyed them purple, green, blue, yellow, pink. And then you just put them in the mold. But before doing that, get a spray bottle with water and spray the molds with water. So the bath bomb is more easier to come out. And then just pop it in the freezer for about a day. So this is what the bath bombs look like when they're out of the freezer. And here are some of the ones that were actually pretty. And I cut the molds into like individuals so they're easier to pop out. And the ones that were bad were like actually really bad because they like broke in the middle and some of them didn't like come out fully from the mold so here are some of the good ones and this was it with the finished DIY and here's a demo of the bath bomb and actually this really didn't even work for me it was an epic fail but I mean, like I said in the beginning, you learn from your mistakes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you should give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, you should subscribe. And if you guys did not like it, you should like it. And if you guys do create it, send me a picture or tag me and I'll like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys then. Bye guys! Hey guys! It's me, Iman and Amna. So today we're going to be doing the prank call video. And